Hi guys, Brian Scare Lion here, back with another video and back with another installment of Lion Reviews. And today the show that we're going to be reviewing is the Netflix original, You. As always, before we get into the actual review, let's talk about a little bit of the information behind the show. Some of the people that star in this are Penn Badgley, Elizabeth Lyle, Zach Cherry and Shay Mitchell. And essentially the show itself is narrated by the lead character, like uh, he's talking you through everything. And the main character becomes completely obsessed with one woman and it's everything that unfolds with him trying to get her, him trying to keep her, him trying to hide his actual obsession and gone a long way what his obsession is actually causing him to date. Now the first thing that I want to talk about with this is the actual characters. The characters themselves are fantastic. Uh, you see the actual shape in them, like you see that most of the characters in this are absolute bastards and proper dickheads, but you start to find a way that you're actually liking them. These actual pure assholes, you find yourself in liking these characters, especially the main character, you should despise them, you should absolutely fucking hate them, yet you find yourself enjoying watching them, you find yourself actually rooting for them in, in some aspects, which is completely fucking messed up considering what the story actually is. It's about a, an obsessed fucking stalker. So I, I completely love the fucking development of the characters being somebody we hate and a, somebody we actually enjoy. It's very, very fucking strange. I think the only person who wasn't an actual arsehole out of oil was Paco, the little fucking kid. It's weird because you you start to see like corruption in, in him. You see the way that he's fucking being corrupted by the main character, the guy that you're meant to fucking hate. Yet, he's such a nice guy to this little kid as well at the same time. Which is one of the reasons you start to gravitate towards the fucking main character. The main character is Joe and he's obsessed with Guinevere and I like the way that they didn't overdo it. They could have went full on psycho like poof, but they tried to make him like completely controlled psycho. I love that like he knows what he's doing but in his mind he's reasoning it to all be for the best reasons. It makes you see good and bad which I don't know if it's a good thing or not. Like, it's really perplexing, but very, very enjoyable. As always, there's spoilers in this. Like, you're not going to watch a review and not actually see spoilers, let's be honest. Uh, but one of the big things that I really liked as well is when you find out that he is not the only one obsessed with Guinevere. As it turns out, Peach is also obsessed, her best friend. She's also obsessed with her. She's also in love with her. And... I like that whole little clash of two obsessed people basically gone head to head. I wish we would have got a little bit more from it, but the way it all blended together and the end that it came to with their little clash was fucking brilliant. Really, really enjoyed that. Peach obviously played by Shay Mitchell, who I absolutely love. If you watched Pretty Little Liars, you know how good she is at acting. I and in this role she played it fucking perfectly. I I, I thoroughly think she was one of my favourite characters in this. The playing off of the jealousy, off of literally trying to be the centre of Guinevere's world. I loved it, loved it. She's brilliant. The show itself is actually booked for another season, which I can't wait to see. Like uh, it's running off a, I'm guessing it's running after the second book, I guess we'll have to wait and see, because I, well, it's based on a book, actually got the book right here, I'm currently getting through it, I, I can't wait to see where it goes for here. Going back to the book, I would thoroughly, thoroughly suggest, if you're interested in reading it and watching it, I suggest watching the program before you read the book. Basically, the overall rating that I'm going to be getting this is, book is better. Like, honestly, 100% the book, I'm, I'm not that far into it, but everything's so much more detailed. Like, don't get me wrong, the show details everything brilliantly, and I, I am one million percent a fan of the show, but I feel like, even though I'm not that far into it, the book is ten times better. But I think that's always to be expected uh, when a sh you're running a show based off of a book. The book's usually better it's like Stephen King you can go and watch a Stephen King film but going back to it the book is always going to be better than the film 
There's so much in this that takes a warped view on actually our reality. Like, the way we see everything and the way we perceive everything, uh, like, our first guess on somebody or our first, first guess on something is usually what sticks with us. We usually keep that gone. But th this is showing, like, your first impression is never actually probably the true impression. There's so much, like, buried beneath that. Uh, I, I love the way the show gravitates everything towards never believe your fucking eyes. You never know what's going on down beneath. One of the things that I'm really hoping for within the next season is they go a little bit more into the whole Candice storyline. Like, we've seen parts and we know essentially some of the stuff that's going on. I really want to delve more into what's happened with Candice because, honestly, it does... Like, hmm. They've revealed that this isn't the first time that he's got purely obsessed, but I'd like to see the actual extent of it. See if he's got worse or if he's got better. Like, did he make the same mistakes with Guinevere that he made with Candace? Or did he learn from his mistakes with uh, Candace when it came to Guinevere? I'm also hoping they haven't done away with Paco. I'm hoping we actually get to see Paco again. I want to see what's happened to him. I want to see if uh, Joe's mind has completely corrupted this little kid, this innocent little kid, who you just wanted the best for out of this. Like I say, we read in the book, there's a lot that, like, there's stuff that's different from what's in the TV show. So it is actually worth them both uh, watching the show and reading the book. It's completely worth them both. But I swear, I swear, you need to watch the series first. The, the book goes into so much more detail, so you actually get to paint that picture in your head of everything that's gone on. And I feel like if you watch the show before you read the book, it'll be putting a bad impression on you because you'll be sitting trying to compare it to the book. And all that's going to do is make you actually think that the show's not as good as it actually is, which would be a tremendous shame. Both are incredible just one is slightly better than the other. So there you go, there's another review in the books. We have now reviewed you. And I keep lifting the book, I'm fucking loving it. But I, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And until the next review, I shall be watching and waiting. So make sure you tune in. And don't forget to butt fuck that like button. Boys.